let's ask ourselves, if the decree from Caesar never occurred, would Mary and Joseph have traveled to Bethlehem? So clearly, this trial turned out to perfectly fulfill prophecy. But why did the Messiah need to be born in Bethlehem? Let's turn to Micah 5.2, which reads, But you, Bethlehem Ephrata, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth are from the old, from everlasting. Also in Micah 4.8 we read, In you, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, to you shall it come, even the former dominion shall come, the kingdom of the daughter of Jerusalem. So the future king, the Messiah, will be from not just the town of Bethlehem, but much more specifically Bethlehem Ephrata, the agricultural zone in Migdal Eder, the tower of the flock. Eusebius, the bishop of Caesarea during the fourth century, wrote in his book, and I quote, Migdal Eder was located one Roman mile east of Bethlehem. And it's here, due east across from the valley of Bethlehem, that we find the ruins of the Tower of the Flock mentioned by Micah. But what was this Tower of the Flock about? And why did the Messiah need to be born in an agricultural zone of Bethlehem? 